prototyping in a 2D Godot game. Greetings. In this lesson, we will talk a little bit about uh, prototyping in uh, video games. We are continuing with our previous design and previous added game elements. In prototyping, you can prototype only with uh, visible collision shapes. Uh, in debug mode, you need to enable this visible collision shapes. And this is uh, explained in previous lecture. And it is advisable also recommended that you use some kind of shapes uh, that are uh, also visible without collision shape. So combination of visible object and collision shape of an object. For now, we have a character body here with a collision shape only, and we will add some shape for visibility of this object in game space using node called the mesh instance 2D. So mesh instance 2D, color light blue in the node 2D uh, hierarchy group of the nodes. So select it, create it. If you like to know more about this node, you know the drill, right mouse button, open documentation. Sometimes you will find interesting thing in documentation, sometimes not. This time node used for displaying a mesh in 2D, a mesh instance 2D can be automatically created from an existing sprite 2D via tool in edit editor toolbar. Select the Sprite 2D node, then choose Sprite 2D, convert to Mesh Instance 2D at the top of the 2D editor viewport. Interesting uh, addition in a Godot 4. Uh, next thing, when you select and add some Mesh Instance, uh, is to uh, pick your Mesh. So there are some kind of predefined meshes like predefined collision shapes. We will just uh, select a, a capsule mesh because we use capsule uh, collision shape. So go back to 2D uh, window and try to do something with this. So we will select it. Uh, you can do it manually, manually like this. Uh, also, you can try to do something, um, for example, our collision shape is defined with transform uh, scale 1, 1. And this is our collision shape here. In the character body, in the transform, we have uh, also scale 1, 1. So we will try to do something with mesh instance and scale. If we uh, put it 1-1, one, one, we will get something like this. So uh, uh, this is lock and unlock to uh, component ratio. You can unlock it. Let's try with 10-10. So what we will get with the 10-10. Uh, I think this is, uh, this is okay. When you do similar thing like I am explaining, Try to put collision shape above. So this is above in the window. Here is below. Uh, to see how this looks like. You don't need to be uh, perfect in, uh, in prototyping for a video game. But uh, try to do your best. Because uh, your uh, game... Testing will be better later. Another thing we can do, we can create some kind of background. So uh, don't spend too much time when uh, you are prototyping. For a background, use the node like uh, color rectangular. Color rectangular. If you are entering, start with color and you will find it. Car rectangular node uh, have lots of properties. We will use only one. So the color property here. Select it and uh, put it to cover your screen. And 
we will need to change color to something like this maybe something like this and now you need to see what you get uh, when we look in this uh, design window we don't see our um, character body but if we put this uh, color shape here maybe something will change uh, this is one of the option uh, when you are prototyping so just put it above all to see other elements on a screen our static body here um, uh, for now have collision shapes added as you see it maybe some uh, kind of uh, but uh, i will not change a thing here nah. I will not change a thing here for now. I think this is uh, it, it's it's okay. So, uh, current thing, the background. Okay, good. Let's see what we done. Good. Now we have. Uh, uh, why is this jumper jumping? Okay. Okay, we have this kind of shape. I changed some things here, so now I don't want to spend too much time on 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 settings. But but okay, it's good. Now we have background here uh, visible. One of shapes are visible. So whatever you do, if you add uh, any other game object, for example, a rigid body, a rigid body are game object influenced by gravity or some kind of force impulse uh, we will add some rigid body so we are adding a rigid body this is a body for the 2d game uh, with a collision shape and uh, with uh, some kind of visible uh, visibility for prototyping mesh instance 2d okay uh, we can put it somewhere here uh, mesh instance can be can be can be can be we have lots of options here we can use new box mesh for example and nothing visible collision shape uh, 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 <laughs> something are changed here but I don't know what I will explain you later collision shape here you know the drill just put it a new rectangular shape we will uh, make some change to this shape I'm scrolling up for you to better see what is done here so this is everything about uh, collision shape this is our mesh instance here if you uh, can't uh, do it like this try to use transform here and uh, combine the data from uh, collision shape 1618 with mesh instance if this work it you are good if not you will need to do some kind of additional setting for example here uh, our mesh instance is 16 18 16 18 okay good we are good this is a rigid body uh this rigid body is little bit changed in a space it's a position of the transform you can reset it like this and put it somewhere a rigid body position reset you no 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 option for asset position position okay position i'm resetting the position of this uh, child object this can be used uh, this can be maybe useful for you and now for the uh, parent object and then i will move parent parent object in a space 
So now we have one kind of rigid body. This is mass of the object. We can change it. Gravity scale. You can experiment with uh, mass and gravity scale for a rigid body. If you like it, but I just want to show you how to prototype a game scene. Now, when we start it, we have one object and the second game object also background, as you see. With this uh, character body, we can't uh, make direct influence on the rigid body. As you see, you cannot move here only if you want to jump over it. This can be <laughs> this can be some kind of a game for you, but uh, I just want to explain you how to prototype your video game. Uh, for uh, this part, uh, this will be all. This will be all. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we will continue. In the next lecture. Goodbye.